Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm testing out three phone gadgets to see if they actually work. That's today's video. I'm just wrapping up my filming and it's going to be an interesting collection for you to see. So let's first flash back to the overview and see how that went. All right, here are all three products. Now I actually have already opened them, but I put them back in the package to kind of see how they, they arrived. From left to right, we got the doohickey cameraman. This was advertised on television, uh, I think summer of 21. This is the Go Donut, comes in just this package. I paid about 25 for this plus five shipping, so uh, about 30 bucks. And then this one is the kind of the mystery item. Uh, it came unsolicited. I can't find anything on this. I didn't pay for it. I don't see anybody that sells it. By the time I'm done with this video, I will actually have a link for this somewhere online so you can see for yourself. But right now it's kind of a mystery object. It just says mobile phone stents. Uh, the grammar on the packaging isn't great, but we'll see how it works. Let's take a closer look at this one. All right, so it takes uh, three batteries, which I've already put in here. You can mount it either vertically or you can mount it horizontally. You press this button to pair it with your phone, and once that's the case, it actually will move to track your face. So that should be pretty interesting, pretty simple. We'll see how it looks. The Go Donut. It's a very simple looking product. It seems like a not much for 30 bucks, but you've got these kind of grooves right here where your phone can kind of sit in different configurations, allowing you, it looks like one, two, three, four possible different angles. It might depend on the thickness of your phone as well. It doesn't really seem to do much besides that, so we'll test it out. Now the mobile phone stent, this one actually has two pieces to it. It has a metal card that comes off with a bunch of different tools on it, and then this is a phone stand. Without the preliminaries out of the way, let's get started. All right, first up, let's try out the cameraman, which I bought from Walmart in the ASEAN TV section and see how that went. All right, let's take a look at the cameraman a little closer here. Now it says to download the Doohickey app, which I've done. They say press the power button for two seconds until the light turns red. Looks like the app is pairing with the device already. All right, here we go. I'm gonna tap the camera button. And there I am, tapped, click to unlock. Oh, it sees my face, that's good. Let me see if I move around. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Maybe I'm supposed to hit the photo button. It's taking my, it's taking my picture already, okay. Hmm, it doesn't seem like it's moving left and right. Let me try it uh, in vertical mode and see if that's any better. All right, sees my face. Let's see here. Not moving. Oh, there it goes. I hit the button again and now it's working. All right, look, it's moving. It is moving. Oh, it sees me. Now it's going left to right. Let's see. It's kind of slow, but I feel like if someone's watching me. How far over will it go? Pretty far. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, it's following me. I'm kind of impressed by that. Way over here. Look at that. Can I keep going? All right, so it has a pretty good range on it. And it's following me. It is following. What if I go fast? Oh, it lost me. All right. See, they even say you can't go too fast. The box says, do not move your face or object too fast. What happens if I just stand here? It takes my picture. <laughs> it's, it's taking my picture. It doesn't make a, a shutter sound if its picture's being taken. All right, that's a, I guess that's kind of, I guess it's kind of cool. I mean, I guess it's weird that you have to kind of, it, it'll automatically start pay, taking pictures if you don't move. I don't know if it took a picture or not. Let me, let me stop the recording here. All right, I'm gonna take a look at these photos here. Let me see. There's my. All right, well that one, <laughs> I don't know about that one. Let's see. Uh, not great. What? The, what? See, I never really knew it was taking my picture. Sometimes it seemed like it was stopping. Sometimes it didn't. I, I'll look at this one now. Oh, man. <laughs> Confused. Interesting. All right. Well, uh, let me try it in, in horizontal mode again. All right. The, the app does not rotate, so I'm going to have to turn my head sideways here. You're going to have to pair it every time you want to use it, which is a little bit of a pain, I guess. Let me Let's try the camera one more time. Smooth as silk, easy as pie, right? Okay, no problem. Well, so I like the way, I like how it follows me, even though it's a little bit slow. 
You have to adjust it this way though. It does not adjust back or forward. It just go left and right. But you can manually adjust it. I guess it would be cool if you're doing some sort of presentation not walking around too fast and you want the phone to be recording the whole time. All right, class. So we're talking about this Mandelbrot set here. I think there is video. Let's try some video. All right, so look, at it's recording. That looks good. Okay. So now I want to switch to this video. This is just on my phone. I'm not sure how it's going to compare to just the regular iPhone camera. And is it choppy when it's moving? Let's see about that. This is the Mandelbrot set. And this is the cameraman as seen on TV product. It has as seen on TV on the box. All right, so I'm going to stop this video now and see how it looks. And then I think I'm going to take this outside and try some filming outdoors and see how it works there. Let me just hit the camera and see what it, what it shows. All right. So is it going to follow me? Let's see here. Hopefully you can see what I see. All right, it's following me. Look at the camera. I got the camera on a grill. That's the best place I can put it. So I got it right there. It's following me. Can I go all the way around? Can I go 360? It just stopped. Outdoors with my glasses and my hat, it seems like it's struggling a little bit to see my face. Come on over here. Come on. There it goes. <laughs> it's, it's going. All right. It's, it's struggling a little bit. All right, so let me put the video on. You can see what the actual video looks like in the, in the app itself. We are doing video. I'm going to put the video on the screen. The video should be vertical. How does that look? It seems like it's, it's not really as responsive as it was indoors. The light's a lot more harsh out here. I got a shadow on my face, which uh, this is kind of an extreme example, but this is what we want. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to stand here for just a moment, and then I'm going to film myself with my iPhone camera and see if there's any difference in the quality at all. Sometimes apps can affect the quality. Let's see if this is one of those cases. All right, so I'm standing here now. This is my iPhone camera. We'll see how that goes. We should have side-by-side -side cameras. Hopefully there's no difference. We shall see. Next up is the Go Donut. This one's been advertised heavily online. I picked up from direct from the website, and here's how that went. Let's take a closer look at the Go Donut. It just has two cutouts in here, but it looks like each cutout could potentially accommodate two different angles. I've got to say, though, man, almost 30 bucks to include shipping for a, basically a round piece of plastic. That's a pretty big markup, if you ask me. Let's try some different angles here, though. It doesn't seem like it. it locks into this bottom notch. It does seem to lock into the upper one, but not the lower one. Because you would think it would stand at that angle, but it doesn't really lock into that. This one it does. That's a pretty extreme angle. Now let's try the other side. All right, that's, that's nice straight up and down here, and you can lean it back. So basically one angle on this side, which is pretty steep, and then two angles on this side, which seem to vary from pretty vertical to right in the center, close to 45 degrees. Will it work with a case? Okay, so it does work on this one, although it only works in the one angle. Let's try another one. This side, it doesn't seem like it fits in there at all. Look at that, it's not going. I guess, oh, I guess if I just shove it in there, but it, once again, it only has one angle that it seems to work with. All right, so in my case, with a case on, I got two options. Without a case, I got three. It looks like it can go as many as four, but I only got three. Let's try a big tablet here. Okay, so this one, pretty vertical. And that one, once again, close to 45. Let's try the other side. I don't really, I'm not getting much out of that first, that lower notch on this side. It's just that nothing seems like it's working there. And that's a very extreme angle. I guess if I'm standing up, I could use that. Let me show you the angles I got here. All right, so if I'm standing up, this angle works pretty well for me. And this, ain't, this other one doesn't work at all. Now, if I'm just sitting down, let me see if I can get a good angle for a seated. Say I'm having some sort of a call here. Kind of get it, set it back. I guess that, I guess that works, kind of. Does it kind of work? This one, not so. We have one, two, and that that's that's only for standing up, I think. I said, I'm not really sure how versatile this really is. It seems like you get maybe maybe three different angles on there. That doesn't seem like it's that universal. Sit outside once again and see how this works. I'm going to try to use the Go Donut and my iPhone and see if I can get some time lapse focused on that mountain. So I only have a dip, three different angles here. I'm going to try to put it in different places and see what I can do as far as getting some time lapse of that mountain range. Let's see what we got. All right, so let me try it down here and see if I can get the right angle. 
see like right now if I tip it forward it would be okay but I can't get it forward on the go donut let me try the other side well that's definitely not gonna work how about this grill this nice dirty grill now once again this one's just gonna be completely useless so we have to stick to this side it's kind of there but it's still not great so as I suspected, the problem with the Go Donut is you're limited to your angles. And if you need just the right angle, this may not be it. In my case, I wanted to film that mountain range being right in the center of the camera. Couldn't get it. I would have had to put something underneath there, which kind of defeats the purpose of having something like this. You're just going to prop it up anyways. The last of the phone gadgets is the interesting mobile phone stent. So it was sent to me unsolicited. And here's how that went. So on the back of the packaging, they say it has 10 functions, but... Four of them are just hex wrenches, which the average person doesn't need a hex wrench on a very regular basis. Let's go over these. Okay, so they say number one, which is right here, is they say is a beer bottle opener. We'll try that. Two, three, four, and five are hex wrenches. That's over here. I'm not really going to focus on those too much. Number six, they say that that hole is a keychain. So that's supposedly a function, just that hole. Number seven, they say screwdriver. That tiny little piece of metal is supposed to be a screwdriver. It actually says eyeglasses on the actual unit itself. This slit here and here is supposed to be two settings for the stand. And then you have a ruler which has, looks like four centimeters and one and a half inches. Let me see how accurate this ruler is. All right, so it looks like it is accurate, one and a half inches. All right, so let me move to the other side of the table and test this out a bit more. Let's try these tools in this holder and see how it actually works. When I first looked this over, I really wasn't sure how to use it because we're running instructions. So really what I did was I thought I saw this tab here, which I could tell went into this slot. The photo on the packaging wasn't clear, so I thought that this just rested in here with the tab like that. That is not correct because it will just fall right out. What you really got to do is slide it into these two tabs, which hold it in place. And then it locks into place in that slot right there. Then you pull it up. And you can lock it in place with either one of these slots right here. Angle one and angle two. Then what you have to do is kind of pull this up right there. A couple issues here. Number one, it's very slippery. It just slides around a lot. Then you also have this kind of sharp metal edge that's going right up against your phone and it's sliding around. Probably not a good combination there. I also found that when I put it into horizontal mode, it's even more slippery. Look at this. It just slides right out. All right, let me try a different angle here. Another thing I should point out is that these tabs want to kind of push it forward. So if you're tapping on your phone, watch what happens. See it? Let me show you that again. When you put pressure on it that way, like if you're tapping on it, it tends to slide right out of those tabs like that. See that? And look at this. That's not good. Come on now. I've reviewed quite a few stands like this that fit in your wallet, but to me this one's kind of heavy because of the metal. It slides out of the tabs. It's not perfect. It's considerably less than perfect, actually. All right, so it's an underwhelming phone stand, but let's try some of the other tools. Now, I went into my fridge, and I only found one bottle, and it wasn't mine, so whoever is, it is this is going to be disappointed that it's not there when they check it out. So here it is, the one bottle I have. I guess it's going to be have to kind of be this way. <laughs> it doesn't feel... I mean, maybe in a pinch. Maybe in a pinch it's a good thing, right? Ah! Got marks on my fingers from that. Man, this thing's batting zero. Am I doing this backwards? Surely not. It has to be this way. Can you imagine whipping this out at a party and trying to open a bunch of bottles for people? Would not be good. All right, I got it open. That was so underwhelming, man. Wow, that was bad. Well, I really don't have much more to test in this, and I don't really, I don't think my pin is gonna change. But let me try the screwdriver in a couple different places before I wrap this thing up. All right, so let's see if it'll work on this outlet cover. Pretty basic, easy to unscrew. Let's see. Oh, hey, it works. All right, I gotta give it credit. It actually, it actually works. What do you know? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, pleasantly surprised. It's not great, but it works. I guess in a pinch, this, this would come in handy. The back of this computer, much more difficult screw. Let's try this one. Oh, it's working. Not very, not good at all, but it is working. All right, it's gonna, it's gonna work in this in this situation too. It does say eyeglasses. Let me see if I can find one on this holder here. These might work. Now there's, there's no way it's gonna get that. Come on now. Is there any way it's, there's no way. It's not gonna work on eyeglasses. It's impossible. I'm gonna say two out of three, but it ain't gonna work on eyeglasses. 
So let's recap these three phone gadgets here. The first up is the cameraman. The, I only paid $19.88 for it, which seems like a pretty good price for the technology involved with it. I can see some people finding this useful in some situations, although I don't see most people finding it useful in most situations. It's kind of slow when it tracks your face. It loses your face easily, and you have to pair it with your phone every time you use it. Sometimes it felt to me like this was more like a prototype with some bugs that haven't been fixed yet. All right, next up is the Go Donut. Now, I mean, it's a very solid phone stand, as so I don't worry about it toppling over. The only problem is you're limited to only really three, in my case, angles. Maybe you get four, depending on in the shape of your phone and there's been many situations like when I wanted to film the mountains earlier I was actually at the park filming the sheep I was down at the strip last week I could never really get it to be the angle I wanted it's kind of expensive and you're pretty limited on the number of angles you got. I'll probably throw it in my car, but I don't expect to use it too often. Now, as far as the mobile stent goes, I really see no redeeming value to this product whatsoever. I don't know how much it costs. I guess if you saw it at the dollar store, it might be a good deal. Otherwise, I would not recommend it. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. It's blowing right at my neck. See, if I was doing like this, it wouldn't be so bad. This wind can stop anytime now. Why does it seem like none of the trees are blowing as much as my face is? <laughs> That's funny. Ah!